Hey, uh, so hey. NFT, lovers, <laughs> NFT lovers, go to Got Network, check out their products. But a lot of DeFi enthusiasts are, are, are killing it to know more about you guys. So Wombat Exchange, are you just any exchange or are you a great exchange? Uh, how are uh, you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> how is Wombat? <laughs> great. Good project. Uh, so, well, we're yeah. a fantastic one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> thanks. Thanks for having us. Thanks, Steve. Uh, yeah. Nice seeing you again uh yeah let's get started is my is my screen up now yeah yeah please oh, do fantastic fantastic so whoops uh hey everyone i'm alex founder of wombat exchange and we built a hyper efficient multi-chain stable swap um bsc and beyond because uh, finance is awesome so uh it's i guess it's actually proper to say that all stable swaps on the market right now are inefficient and hard to use um until now of course because of wombat uh you know, so the current issue with a lot of these stable swaps in the market, uh, we, what we call, they have a uh, token pair silos, which results in like fragmentation of liquidity and ultimately cause inefficiencies. Um, they have inflexibility to scale for current and new stable coins that are coming into the market. Uh, they have a poor user interface because of uh, the aforementioned reasons. And everything re in reality is just a curved fork. But Wombat can efi uh, efficiently, uh, scalably, and optimally solve all these problems and more. So to go through all the issues I mentioned, um, so the issue is fragmented liquidity and low scalability. Uh, we call that actually token pair silos. And what that means is um, you can imagine uh, uh, the cute Wombat on the right-hand side where you know there's a USDD pair with a DAI pair. And there's another pool where you have a USDT with a USDC pair. And th these are actually where assets are duplicated in different pools and it's fragmented. And we mean that mean it by, uh, in the sense that like the USDT in one pool cannot be pulled together in the USD USDT in another pool. And this is bad because we know that the larger the pool, actually the better slippage it has for the end user. And with that said, that means a uh, curve, ellipsis, all these like uh, traditional stable swaps actually are actually inefficient. So what, what is Wombat solution? So actually, we actually call it an open liquidity pool solution where we actually achieve like the maximum capital utilization. Basically, we have one gigantic pool instead of like a segregated one. So it allows like true token staking liquidity provisions instead of like, you know, the traditional uh, curve ellipsis uh, staking pool. We need to pair up multiple stable coins. So we're more efficient that way. And another issue with uh, curve and ellipsis is basically there are complicated pool compositions. So if you actually, if people have used curve and have used ellipsis, they realize that actually it's actually kind of convoluted and it's kind of tough to use because, you know, if you, if a new user comes in and, and, and goes like, oh, I want to deposit TUSD and they just look at this and they'll be like, oh, okay. Uh, so th what is this three EPS thing? And then they have to actually like, uh, it becomes a very, a very convoluted like mess. And it doesn't really make sense for us for people who need to use stable coins and swap because in in the trading space, stable coins is basically the most basic thing and people need it to buy other things. So for our goal is to obviously to make it more simple. So another complicated issue uh, brought up by this actually these uh, token pool compositions is because uh, in order for these stable swaps to reach equilibrium, you actually need the same amount of token for each. And that's kind of very hard because uh, organically, there's a difference in popularity for different stable coins, such as USDT, different liquidities, and it all leads to this pool imbalance. So it makes it very hard to reduce slippage for for these uh, these like three these pool tokens. So how how do you fix it? So because of this, it's like Curve, uh, Ellipsis, all these guys. Uh, you know, it becomes a very extremely inflexible if you want to add something new. So even, I guess, the most seasoned, uh, you know, crypto users, when they see, like, a uh, curve, they'll be, they'll, they'll, you know, they'll, they'll have a hard time. Even, like, my friends that have been trading for a while, they'll be, like, they'll look, they'll look at curve and be, like, okay, oh, so how do I stake? And they'll look at um, this image on the left, which is uh, copied from curve, and it's just so convoluted and tough. And because of this complication, uh, users need, need to spend time like doing swaps and fees to like actually get what they want in the end, which is just to deposit uh, a single token. Probably. So our solution, WAMA solution is very simple. We have it because of our single token design, we remove all these complicated uh, compositions, becomes a pure single token. 
So if you look at it on the right, on the right hand on these images, is, this is basically how anybody who wants to deposit a stable coin and stake it or become an LP would work. You just go in, put uh, deposit your BUSD, deposit USD, and that's it. You don't need to worry about any complicated compositions. And and also a bonus for this is because because our LP tokens are very pure in the sense um, we don't have to worry about like a, com a, a combined amount of like a three curve, like uh, USDT, USDC, or DAI or anything. Our token actually is so pure that it's actually really great for uh, for finance guys who want to calculate a good underlying. So it's not complicated. It's great for yield farming, boring lending protocols, and like trading platforms. And yeah, so that's that's pretty the finance side. That's kind of great. And I guess another aspect of how uh, Wombat actually is different uh, from traditional stable swaps is because we have this innovative, what we call a coverage ratio based stable swap mechanism, where it kind of removes the scalability barriers. And we mean that uh, in a sense that like before I mentioned that Curve actually finds equilibrium with an equal amount each token. But we find your equilibrium dependent on the amount of assets and liabilities for, for each coin. Uh, this actually, this idea is actually derived from like traditional finance where, you know, companies use a coverage ratio to measure um, their ability to pay back debts and liabilities. But in our case, we actually, we turn every stable coin in our platform into uh, basically a company. And so we measure it by how much assets and liabilities uh, it has in regards to everyone else. So that's, that's another way that we value equilibrium. So it's actually uh, very different from how the traditionally. So with everything we mentioned, uh, you know, our, our more efficient algorithm, our innovative design, we've proved that, uh, proved it mathematically before. And then we proved it with our, after we built it, built our app that, you know, Wombat is actually more capital efficient. Um, so you hear this example, we swapped a uh, hundred thousand BOSC to die and Wombat has the best returns after. So that's, 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 uh, that's fantastic. <laughs> so basically to graph out our, our innovative invariant curve, um, basically our breakthrough, uh, why Wombat is so much more efficient is because we have a longer flatten region. So this blue is actually uh, a curve. Uh, the Uniswap is actually like the dotted purple line. So we, everyone knows that curve is already much more efficient than Uniswap in terms of stable swaps. But what, what Wombat brings to the table is like a much more a longer flatten region, region uh, with accelerated convergences. But what this means is actually we each we reach equilibrium much sooner and we stay there much longer than everybody else. So here's a quick comparison of uh, Wombat and versus Ellipsis. And you see like, and, and in this graph, lower is better. So Wombat is lower. So obviously we are better. <laughs> um, and if you zoom in actually um, in, in this actually is a screen cap of like when it's actually close to equilibrium. So if you, Look at look at the comparison. Actually, Wombat is actually up to forty percent more efficient than Ellipsis, and actually, in in out of equilibrium state, uh, we're actually almost like a hundred percent more efficient. So it's pretty groundbreaking in terms of like people that want to use a stable swap. So sim simply put, uh, Wombat compared to every other stable swap, we're simple. We have a simple uh, pool structure. We have low slippage. We have a much more efficient algorithm. We're capital efficient. We're super easy to use. Uh, we got pure LP tokens, which is very good for trading and lending and borrowing. And basically our goal is obviously to unsurp uh, ellipsis and curve. Uh, we're going to do multi-chain like GAT network mentioned, we believe the future is multi-chain. So, you know, uh, we want to go to different chains and bring our unique algorithm there. And, you know, extending our platforms to different partners and all that kind of stuff. And also because curves are uh, mining incentives is running out, so we're gonna we're going to take this opportunity. Uh, simply put, Walmart token utility is for governance, fee distribution, staking, and future uses. Uh, we're actually planning to come some kind of like an incubation labs to uh, incubate more DeFi projects in the crypto space because um, that's what our team is passionate about and that's what we want to do. And mainly another actually future use case, we're actually supporting a community and to build a convex version for Wombat, which is another thing that would help, you know, the, you know, the tokenomics and everything be more stable and successful in the future. So uh, yeah, roadmap, uh, obviously we're doing multi-chain. Uh, so uh, getting after our Binance 
uh, demo day, we're probably going to prepare for ETH, uh, uh, and then Polygon, Avalanche, and then, yeah, a, probably as many EVM chains as possible. And Pirate CNC and my team, and then thank you. Uh, yeah, I really appreciate it. And then maybe I'll give you guys a quick demo of, uh, or actually a swap actually working. So here is actually our stable swap uh, in our test net. So it's nothing glamorous, it's just a stable swap. So basically you type, you type it in, uh, it pops up, you swap, but obviously we're more efficient, yada, yada, yada. <laughs> and then waiting, 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 waiting. Hmm. Sorry guys, I should have put more gas. Do, do, do. Okay, okay, it works, yay. So, <laughs> so also when people deposit, it's actually very simple. Like I mentioned before, it's like very intuitive. So basically just deposit. I wish I had that much BS, BUSD in real life, but same thing, deposit. Uh, do, do, do. Oh, wait. oh, do, do, do. And deposit and that's it. And yeah, this is our, our swap and yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and learned something from this demonstration. And if you have any questions, I'd feel free to hear them out. Yeah, yeah. So Alex, uh, teach me like how did uh, is there like a token design in the system? How do you how did how is used? Our token design? Oh, right now yeah. it's it, we haven't implemented it yet. But uh, as I mentioned, our token design is later on. It will, it's actually very similar to how V Curve uh, Curve uses. Hold on one second. Let me show you guys. So will it, will it be a governance token or? So it's, a, it's going to be a governance token. Um, so basically we're, we're using something similar to M stable design. We're actually, we're kind of gamifying how people uh, uh, keep our token. For example, the longer they, uh, they stake our token, you know, the longer, obviously the higher the yields they get. And also our token will have um, different uses to, so for example, because I mentioned our incubation lab. So it, once we incubate projects, like our token holders, we get like first dibs are a discounted rate to buy into the tokens. And so, yeah, just like various things like that to increase the value of like Wombat. Got it. Got it. Um, so, so, uh, so, so actually uh, you can see that uh, the DeFi summer happened in 2019, 2020. And uh, a lot of the key innovation is still there, I guess in 2021, uh, a lot of the projects are developing their, their their new versions. You can see the YDX V4, uh, a lot of innovations in Curve. So, uh, what do you see DeFi in general in 2022? Uh, so, so where you are building a DeFi project, so how do you see the oh. competition, and uh, oh. where where do you see this? Um, uh, I, I, oh, that's a good that's a great question. I think you know to be honest, I don't think this is a zero sum game. I think. Um, I love that DeFi is building up so many things to support each other. Um, I don't think we're replacing Curve, but I think we're just building another uh, protocol just to kind of like grow along with Curve. I think the future in DeFi is very hopeful because with all the, like the new like uh, trading platforms are like uh, popping up, you know, they're going to need like more like our platforms like Wombat and Curve and Ellipsis and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, with with the advent of like more and more people doing options and like and permanent loss hedges, I think, you know, the, the future is very, very, very bright for DeFi in general, actually. So I don't really feel like, yeah. So I think it's going to be great. Got it. Got it. Um, I mean, like uh, also you build this on BSC, right? So one key question I, I, I do have is that how do you see, uh, how do you see DeFi, because uh, actually, a lot of the other layer ones. So, so you pick BIC as your as your ecosystem. Um, so, uh, as the infrastructure to, to build your project. So, uh, what do you see this compare with building a DeFi protocol on Ethereum or Poly on Solana? Well, oh, obviously, I oh, well yeah. obviously we are going to be multi chain like that. That's that's the end goal. But uh, I think you know we chose uh, 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 BSC because you know BSC is very unique in the sense that like. Uh, not only that they have a very good DeFi, very, very fast, very easy to use, but they're, you know, they have Binance, which is a centralized kind of uh, exchange. And I think that the unique selling point for Binance and BSC is that actually that kind of like the mix of helping people with traditional finance background into DeFi. And I think that kind of like 
that kind of like collaboration is actually what BFI needs to actually grow to the next level. And that's why we chose BSC first. Got it, got it. So in your future multi-chain strategy, what are what are some of the key layer ones that 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 that's very uh, strategic or important for your future growth? Oh, for sure, uh, ETH, um, because of how efficient our algorithm is compared to Curve. So it's I think it's a no-brainer for us to go there. Um, another uh, one for sure would be uh, Avalanche. I'm a big Avalanche fan too. Um, Another obviously Polygon because Sandeep is awesome too, <laughs> and also yeah, just any other EVM chain. I think you know like like Gat Network mentioned and everyone else like Radium, all these guys. You know we we all believe in a multi-chain world, and I think you know we shouldn't hold ourselves back. Like it's not going to be one chain. I don't think. I think it's going to be it all. So let's just support each other, and I think that's the most important thing. Got it. Got it. And and do you think you expand the business uh, to to more than a stable swap? Uh, because like this, uh, this, this is most of the business right now. Do like, do you expect to expand it, or you want to do do great at what you're already doing? Uh, I think with what we're our, our algorithm, uh, we actually have something that actually is very valuable and that can be you know take over. Hopefully, take over become the status quo in the market. Uh, do I want to do other things? Uh, yeah, uh, actually, there's tons of things I want to do. I think the awesome thing about DeFi is that you know you can. Explore Composer, like a right? lot of things. Yeah, for sure, yeah. for sure. And then, yeah, actually, we have a long roadmap that we want to like evolve Wombat with. So, yeah, just, yeah, stay tuned. <laughs> got it, got it. Cool, cool. I, I, I guess I don't have more questions for you. There are already like many questions asked. Um, and uh, yeah, Alex has been with uh, us in the, in the, in the, in the incubation program since the beginning. And, uh, uh, Wombat is like a great DeFi project that, that definitely you should put more attention on. Uh, so what are some of the ways to, to, to sh people should follow your Twitter, right? So how, how can yeah, we join your Yeah, uh, actually, uh, come, go to our website, wombat.exchange, and at the bottom, just join our Twitter, and then just follow us uh, uh, on Telegram. Look, check out our Medium. We actually go deep and explain how, uh, you know, our, how our protocol works, our algorithm works, uh, join our Discord, Twitter, and then, yeah. And yeah, that's that's the best way to get yeah. in touch with us. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much like every uh, uh, early yeah. stage <laughs> entire project, yeah. uh, I, I definitely think uh, Wombat Exchange is worth supporting. So if you like what Alex presented today, do go to HackerLink.io to go to the Binance Lab Incubation Grant to support Wombat Exchange. You can, uh, you can support them by donating uh, and granting providing your grants uh, to the team. I, I guess it's a very small, but very efficient team that, that Alex is uh, running right now. So so yeah, uh, happy to see you made so much progress. Uh, I, I believe you, you didn't have a, such a cute website at the beginning of the- uh, Oh yeah, the, the yeah. <laughs> right? made progress yeah, yeah. In, yeah, the, yeah, in yeah. the six weeks. And look forward to your final presentation at Demo Day. And uh, thank you. Man. Thank you. Uh, yeah, do try out Wombat Exchange product. Uh, try their state of stable swap to see uh, if it's really that good. Uh, I will. I will try it out later myself as well. <laughs>